okay here we have the slot and uh, now i'm just going to draw a shape over here so just drawing the shape over here, here to show you the different types of blur in silot mostly the people who use silot will get to know what are, are the major blur uh, options in silot so here we have a roto shape now i'm just going to smooth it out so here we have one point in the corner and here we have the two points so i'll show you the difference by doing the cardinal here we can see uh, the edges are not properly uh, yep we can see this is not a proper way of rotoscopy so so just uh, uh, coming i mean control z and adding a point over here so that uh, when we smooth out it will be like uh, a pretty decent smoothening so yeah so the shape looks little organized so this is a better way of uh, giving smooth to the spline so here we have done the roto and i have got i have uh, i mean i have a alpha mat here so just go into the preference and uh, here we can see the viewer inside near us so this will make the pixels visible and uh, now what i'm just going to do is like uh, just taking and keeping it inside a layer and let's name this as uh, aeroplane and uh, now if we check the layer layer we have a blur option here and inside see we can see some options and also we have a lot of properties here and uh, certain number of uh, i mean different types of blur also so this is the blur and we have central inner and outer so what it is central central means uh, the i mean if you are giving five 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 pixels outward and five pixels in this is outer so completely outer uh, i mean uh, the value and this is inner so there is a core and uh, based on that core only the blur pixels or the pixels will be shifting according to the blur values so uh, the same options we can see inside the uh, in the inside this spline properties also the same central central uh, inner as well as outer so uh, depending upon the value we can see the shifting of pixels from uh, uh, center to outer and center to inner uh, in the different scenarios of blur so i'm just giving i mean i'm keeping it as default and yeah we can see the central blur here now so these all are the options in uh, uh, silhouette this type of inner blur is pretty tough to do in a nuke so we will discuss a way for that now here we have the nuke and uh, I, I just took the roto from here and uh, or press o so here we have the options i'm just going to take this bezier drawing option and i'm just drawing a spline over here uh, this the same process which we deal uh, which we did in slot we are just going to copy that into nuke uh, so i have drawn a shape over here and here we can see the smooth option here smooth or z ez for uh, uh, smoothing so same issue happened here so i'm just going to take this add point and uh, adding a point here so that uh, the smoothing is pretty neat and uh, yep so and now i'm just going to select all the points and press z so that uh, the smoothing happens and uh, the spline looks neat now and uh, basically every time we need to smooth so as a lot we can see the alpha mat here and uh, here is a mat overlay and alpha so yeah now we can see the alpha for this uh, roto now we have uh, two types of blur blur options here we have the blur node so this is just like a standard blur node which uh, which is like pushing outer as well as inner uh, the number of pixels i mean the value which we use here so this is just like silhouette a central blur so depending upon the value it creates blur here and there are some other options also uh, which is uh, which i'm going to uh, show you now so just uh, keeping the blur over here and uh, uh, yeah, i will delete it and let's see into the spline here we here we have the feather option and uh, uh, also the feather fall off so this is uh, almost like inner blur right so yeah inner blur but we can see some core is i mean the fall off is not that much 
uh, accurate or smooth as we we can obtain in uh, silot so here we have the feather and feather fall off so we can make use of feather feather fall off as well as blur for uh, creating the inner blur feel or uh, such stuff so here what i'm just going to do is like i'm going to create a uh, option for uh, creating the inner blur accurately as slot so here i have the spline of the same roto and uh, i'm i'm taking a blur and what i'm just going to do i am giving here a value so just copying this blur again okay so i have kept this blur here and uh, now i'm just going to take a merge node and merge this both so in merge node we have a lot of operations inside so uh, basically with each uh, operations we will get each results now we can see the out i mean the core also here uh, here we can see uh, okay so let's go into color dodge and uh, color burn color dodge okay no color burn yeah so we can see a lot of uh, different type of alpha blur or uh, different type of merge operations actually so this is all pure max actually so uh, we'll make a detailed video of how the max works in merge operations later now we can see uh, the difference between the inner blur i mean the blur which we uh, created using this setup with the feather and feather fall off we can see some some sort of core here and in here we can see the smooth blending of pixels so yep we can see a lot of difference here so if we adjust the blur we can uh, adjust the smoothness fall off as well as the smoothness yeah this is pretty good right so uh, this type of blur which we can make uh, using merge operations and uh, even we can make a gizmo out of this uh, i found like uh, there is one gizmo exponential feather which creates the same sort of effect so if you want it manually you can uh, do it by blur and uh, uh, merge operation so this is the difference between both the inner blur which we created here so this is yet another sort of blur which we can create in uh, nuke so even we can use the daylight dilate option for eroding or uh, uh, dilating uh, the alpha mat after the uh, blur operations uh, or merge operations even we can dilate here so that uh, uh, we can create a, some sort of effect like this so this is a pretty handy and we can edit it as uh, we likes and here we can uh, give some other uh, i mean uh, merge operations for getting some sort of different uh, style of blur so this is uh, some sort of idea so we are helping artists to learn basic 2d composition course do let us know what you need at askmadlooks at gmail.com follow madlooks vfx social media handles for more frequent updates and announcements Thank you.